あ、行けない。いや、あの、その。あ、和式。そうそう。そう、俺、山口。しゅ、never been in 山口。多分。Okay. Masai is gonna be our guide for the day. I've only met her once in my life. But right now we're kind of looking for a restroom because there are squat pots. But I don't know how to use those. I don't want to get messy. Chowinoko. Siyama yori? Ah, i s h o k a m We're going to the courts. It's supposed to take like an hour or so. Look at this boxcar. Josh gets to ride in a boxcar, heck yeah. <laughs> え、ジョッシュは日本語全然ダメいや、うん、ちょっとだけ、本当にちょっとだけ。私と一緒のレベルかじゃあ、私の英語の。<笑>そうかな。Let's take a look at the GPS here. This is what Japanese GPS looks like. It looks、uh, kind of like a Game Boy game. Google Maps is a, a lot easier to understand, in my honest and humble opinion. Hear this aesthetic bridge. Kawaii, right? Kawaii. Kawaii. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to play on these courts, but、uh, it's kind of raining a little hard, even by Japanese standards. These guys don't seem to care. <laughs> <laughs> having a good time out there. The coach is here. Oh. It's hot. Wait. Very optimistic, this coach. He's got his、um, US Open 15, 2015 shirt, you know? He's saving for this occasion. He's like, oh, I'm gonna play tennis with some Americans. Gotta wear that US Open shirt. <laughs> All right, well,、uh, since the rain's too strong, we're、uh, canceling the tennis plans. And instead, we're going to a hot spring, a natural hot spring. I've never been to a hot spring before, ever. <laughs> so, it's r e a l l y nice. f i r s t time experience in Japan. You guys hear this rumbling? You hear that? This car is trying its very best to get up this hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Ayoso Hot Springs. Look how foggy it is up here, man. Up,、like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to try, try to take some aesthetic pictures in the hot spring, but you know, you yeah, just,、cool. ma uh, just make, make sure you angle the camera and this、oh, like、leaf、it. in between my.、Uh, <laughs> make sure you make it look huge. <laughs> Aesthetic. <laughs> I just went to the,、uh, the hot springs in the mountains. That was pretty interesting. First time I've ever been. It was like you felt like you're part of nature. It felt like back to the. <laughs> I thought about a million years ago when monkeys used to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to nature because you're just completely in the nude. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's cool. Yeah. But you're like outside, like outside on the mountains in a hot spring. And you can see all the view. However, Uh, you can see other views. Yeah, you can see other views as well. And just hands covered. If、uh, it wasn't cloudy though, you can see like the whole sea from there and stuff, so it would have looked super nice. But unfortunately, it's really cloudy today. We couldn't take our camera there. Oh, yeah, you couldn't take your cameras there. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't know why you couldn't take cameras. Like, how are you supposed to take aesthetic photos without, if you can't bring your camera? I know, exactly. Look at this. This is Omni Clay? Yeah, we got one Omni Clay court right here. Two hard courts over there. The high school coach apparently like, built all this stuff, like, not, not with his own hands, but like, you know, he, he,、uh, he bought. So, this is the coach right here. He built this freaking, it literally says tennis share house right there. No, they got going tennis share house. That is freaking cool. Look at this place. We're at the soba store for lunchtime. This looks very traditional. I don't think Josh has actually eaten like actual soba yet, so this is like another type of noodle. Here we go. More noodles, boys. Noodles. <laughs> noodles o o d l e s of noodles. Take a look at this place. Wow, this looks super t r a d i t i o n a l Wow. Oh, but they got a button here. Call button.、Ooh. Why don't they have these call buttons in America? You know what I mean? This would be so helpful. I can't read. <laughs> you got it, Josh. Okay,、uh, noodles. <laughs> noodles. <laughs> This is a soba restaurant. Mine's like dipping soba. So it's like a combination of my two favorite things soba and dipping noodles with duck broth. And Josh says it straight up duck soba. And then Masai got a set 
コブエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッセットエッ Some pudding, which is like sounds like pudding, which is what they call it, but it's really just flan. For those of you Hispanic, maybe any Hispanic ladies watching out there, flan pretty much tastes like flan, is what I would say. And it looks like flan, and it is flan. But they call it pudding, so try it out.、Mm. Let's see what he thinks. Oh wow, that's brilliant. That's a. That bitter taste with it was like a medicine. I'm glad with this. And that's an ice cream. Yeah, and then that's an ice cream. Check out how tiny this road is. Just wait, it's a little bit of a mistake. She has no idea where she's going. <laughs> this is a two way road. It's crazy. Ain't no way, if I'm an American driver, I wouldn't trust other Americans to be driving this two way road. We're at Luri Koji in Yamaguchi, a very, apparently a very famous spot. Luri Koji. Koji. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Close enough, boys. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what it is. Looks nice already from the outside. Oh, look at that sculpture over there. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Look, it's in English. Ryuri Koji Temple. Famous five tiered pagoda. I can already see it, but let's not spoil it. <laughs> let's wait until we get there. Wait a second. Check this out, guys. What do you see, Josh? I see a,、uh, the place where you find Pokemon. <laughs> Please, what are you fucking talking about? See what he's talking about? <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing, dude. This is nice. This is scenic. The famous five tiered pagoda. We can find the hoa at the top, dude. This is very,、uh, very scenic. Wow. Ooh. Check that turtle out. Look at that big turtle on that rock. Is it real or fake, Josh? Is it、uh, real or fake? If my Japanese is correct, it's fake. Only one way to find out, right? Throw a rock. <laughs> Grab one. <laughs> <laughs> This view is sick. What the? Wow. Wait, let me take a picture, though. Look at this thing. In all its glory. Wow. So, Masai here is telling us that this right here is the sightseeing spot for Yamaguchi. If you're gonna come here, you gotta come here. You feel me? Check out this guy's face. He's very, <laughs> he's very intense look on his face. Very、uh, serious man. Okay, and right as we left that spot, it is pouring once again. Jeez, thank God we got out of there. Super good timing. I know. Good timing. <laughs> Alright, so we've come to Yamaguchi Station for the sole purpose of taking a picture in front of <laughs> the real thing. The real thing. The only thing that we took earlier was fake. The <laughs> And then these two, big, these two big egg people right here. Are there other eggs inside it if we open it? <laughs> the original Yamaguchi. Yama, Gucci. Yama, Gucci. <laughs> Yama and Gucci. Gucci invented a clothing brand. Yama invented、uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> okay. You see the size of those balls? Oh yeah, dude. I'm red. If you like red balls or blue balls. <laughs> blue, blue balls. balls? Yeah, blue balls. Blue balls, man. Not really a fan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they kind of hurt. Okay. <laughs> 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 And we're done here. Oh my goodness, we are here at Iwakuni. Check out these mountains and how they're covered with the clouds. Look at that. Yeah, the river is extra full today because of all that rain we've been having. There was a typhoon in the、uh, Kyushu area. I kind of, you know, getting a little bit of it here. That's why there's been so much rain recently. Look at this freaking bridge. This is the attraction right here. This is actually pretty freaking crazy. And then look at the river. Like, wait, let's just take a look at this river. Let's just view it. it look how fast the water's moving right now. Dude, there's so much water and it's moving pretty fast. That looks kind of dangerous. Like, let's take a let's zoom it in real quick, boys and girls. Like, if you were to jump in here, 
you might get screwed. Wow. This water is all up on the freaking steps. That's so crazy. Whoa. We're even closer than before. Look at that. Look at that. Want to go for a swim, guys? Want to go for a swim? Look at this bug. What is that? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so another thing that Iwakuni is known for, as she was telling me that I don't actually know this information myself, oh. is that Iwakuni is known for... <gasps> wow! What? <laughs> that sucks. Is known for ice cream, yeah. They have like... They have over a hundred... Over a hundred flavors. Look at this. That's crazy. Look, all of these, they're all flavors of ice cream. A hundred and seventy. David is soft to cream. Oh, yeah. If we, didn't, if we didn't use the restroom, we could have tried all 170 flavors. Uh, so just take a video of all of them. So as if we Aww. <laughs> uh, that's so crazy. Uh, wow. Is this water flavor? What's this? Oh, ramune. It's like this uh, Japanese soda thing. Have you seen the ones with the marble where you pop the marble down into it? No. That's what that is. It tastes it's like soda. Yeah, it's a good soda. You can buy it. That old guy closed the store on us, but it's okay because we got <laughs> this store. Ooh. Look at all these flavors. And they have an English menu for those who cannot read Yeah, the I think I'm gonna ice. get the grape yogurt and the green apple yogurt. Cool. Why do you like yogurt so much? Because I'm lactose intolerant pretty much. If I have this, I'll have to go to the bathroom. YOLO. You only live once, YOLO. No, bro. It's, it's gonna suck. YOLO! Wait, they have royal milk tea. Alright, I got the royal milk tea flavor because I'm royalty. He got the grape yogurt and green apple yogurt. <laughs> she got <laughs> ramune flavor and yogurt sour flavor. She mixed them. She mixed them. Let's taste it up, boys. There it is. Take a look at that in all its glory. And down the hatch, boys. That literally just tastes like milk tea. Wow. Mm. So you gotta buy a ticket to go across and come back. So we just got some tickets to go across. Look at this bridge, man. It's so nice. Dang, look at the streams today, boys. This ain't the only stream that's strong today. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into the age old tradition of Japanese rock throwing. <laughs> oh, this one. All right, let's see it, Josh. Right, I'm gonna do this one first. Let's see, let's see. This one first. You gotta go with the current. You gotta go with... <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> one skip. <laughs> I, I couldn't see that one. Yeah, because it's so fast. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, tiny. Five times. It's not impossible, bro. You just... Oh, oh. the double. <laughs> Watch, all right. This is a little bigger rock. Wow! <laughs> I went hella far, yeah. what the All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, he's about to try to skip rocks. Yeah, Josh gave me like the, these three rocks. That are crappy, so you can get the good one at the end. This good one? Yeah, that good one. It's really light, you should be able to skip decent far if he hits at a good angle. All right, all right so it's all about, hey, you don't want to go down, you want to stay as low as possible. All right, whatever, anyways. Right, whatever. Let's see what you got, math teacher. Oh, you got two skips? That's not bad for a first timer. <laughs> I at least got it to skip on my first time. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I can't eat the best. This game sucks. I'm going back to TFT. So I found one amazing rock. That's huge. Amazing rock. Yeah. And this one's decent. I'm going to throw this one first and then this one. Right. This, game, this game makes no freaking sense. What oh. the heck? Oh, Alright, this one. My bag on. Oh shoot! Getting serious. Right. Let me see if I get right, no pressure. Oh, Two that skips. Right. That was super, but it was far. It was far. How far is he gonna throw? What? Hey! Whoa! 
Going. Probably halfway. Alright, here we go. Last one. Come on, Nugget. Ooh. It's goodbye. Oh, that's pretty far. That is pretty far. This is pretty nice. The nature out here and the bridge and the fog is getting strong. Look, the fog is getting stronger and stronger. I don't want to go to the top of the mountain. Yeah, Josh wants to climb to the top of that mountain because you see that shrine in the distance? Dang, look at the curves on her. <laughs> Yo, check out these big a koi. These are so big. Wow, platinum. Yo, check out this plat. Dude, this. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Look at that shining Magikarp. Look at that shining Magikarp. Those are freaking. That's so big. What the heck? If you touch it, it turns to a flower. <laughs> like yesterday. Oh wow, look at that one. That is a big koi. Hey, that's a big boy. And that's a big koi. <laughs> Look at the white one though. The white one's so cool. It's so majestic. It's white Gyarados. Shining white Gyarados. It's literally shining. That's so crazy. Look at this big boy though. Hello, big boy. Oh. Gotcha. He's so big. Is your camera waterproof? No. Mosquito. Oh, I hate him. Oh, this nice Obachan just told us that. Uh, <laughs> nice Obachan. <laughs> that's right here. Look at this. It's literally the Japanese flag. Look, the big red circle on its head. White, that's that's actually pretty cool. It's the Japanese flag, koi right there. Oh yeah, koi hold. Masta. Yeah, koi naka sugoi. Oh, dude, that was wait. If you like get on top of it, it's literally shining. Look, oh, look, it's shining. Look at that. Wait, that's such a good view. And the golden one. Wait, that's actually really cool. It's shiny. I'm just kidding, I think. Look at the sardines. <laughs> Eat me! They hate that, come on Josh. They do? You didn't watch, uh, what's that one, M Finding Nemo? Oh, <laughs> Take a look at this view. Wow, look at this bridge. And then, oh, the view in the back. Pretty sick. Oh, wait a second, oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, these are stiff, it's not smooth. <laughs> but that's one of the uh, best parts. Okay, so I'd say like the two best things that I look forward to in Japan are one, the food, and two, the nature. The cities are like cool and stuff, but it's like I couldn't spend that much time in them. The nature's like really like, it's almost unparalleled. So that was the, check it out, the ticket. Kin Taikyo. We actually spent a long time there. We spent like about three hours there, wow. Time for us to, Hitch a ride back to Okayama. Kyo, yeah. arigato. Ah, this one? Yeah. Hmm. Hajimashite. Hajimashite. Hajimashite, dude. Doesn't it mean nice to meet you? Hmm, hajimashite. Nice to meet you, yeah. So we're on the Shinkansen now, the bullet train, and check this out. This is. Look at this, man. Iwakuni Zushi. This is a specialty of Iwakuni, and also in here, it looks like they've got lotus roots, which is another specialty of Iwakuni. You guys know, like, or you should, hopefully you know, all the cities and prefectures in Japan that are known for a little something something. And Iwakuni is known for this sushi, as well as this daikon, or uh, another, sorry, lotus root. Oh man, look at talking again! Shut up, let me record my video! Because they make a good... This is an announcement oh for my passengers God. with wheel oh baggage. Oh my God. Anyways. Before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> this is special because the way they make this is they have like a huge block of sushi. Like, and it's kind of like, oh my god. I can't get through this, Josh. There's just not It's like the students when they keep interrupting you. Yeah. Alright, you're all getting detention. Alright, so let's try this again, shall we, Josh? All right. I got 2900 calories burned today. Alright, okay. Anyways, like I was saying, like again, they make it in a huge block and then they put like the layers of uh, fish and stuff on it and they'll cut it up into squares and that is Iwakuni Zushi. And so they can feed like huge amounts of people. They can feed huge amounts of people at the same time. Chopsticks and I can do this. Like air traffic control. Anyways, so let's take a look at what this looks like, shall we? Oh yeah, but anyways, by the way, 
Masai bought this for us. That was like very kind of her, you know, we're not expecting that. Shreya? Yeah. Shreya. She just randomly asked me if I was doing a YouTube video. <laughs> and she said, give me a shout out and I'll subscribe. <laughs> so, there she is. All right, Shreya. Well, <laughs> super random. All right, but anyways, here we go though. Let's open this thing up. My ears are popping. Yeah, my ears are popping too. Look at this. Oh, snaps on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, this is this right here. You know what this is? That's a leaf. It's a lotus root leaf. Oh, wow. All right, and there it is. Let's see what it tastes like, boys. <laughs> Take a look. Zoom it in, boys. Zoom it in, boys. Boy. It's, not, it's, it's kind of blurred up. Oh, clear. Yeah. is it clear? Yeah, no, it's clear. Do you see it, Shreya? Can you see it? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> so, as you can see, there are not one, but two layers of rice. However, the bottom is really just redundant, so I'm just gonna eat the top layer of rice, you know what I'm saying? But this is like, you know, I just tasted it, and um, I have to say it's like, not bad. Pretty good. Not particularly good. I mean, it's pretty average, honestly. It's pretty, uh, pretty standard. Nothing, nothing really special here. Better than regular rice and sushi. Uh, uh, I'd say regular is probably a little better because it's more. <laughs> like this is sweet. This is literally, for those of you who know, this is literally chirashi sushi, which is like a sweet. Oh, oh is she doing it? Is she doing it? I'm <laughs> connected. Are you guys from America? Oh wow, okay. Where? New Jersey? Wow. Take a guess. <laughs> That's not America, what the heck? Alright, I'm Chinese, but... <laughs> but... We're from Texas. Mm. My cousins are from Texas. Oh really? They're here. They're here? You got a big family here? Dang, she said China. It's kind of... <laughs> Wait, oh my god, she did it. <laughs> Girl's really excited, and then she's gonna realize, wait, this guy's nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be really disappointed when she finds out when she realizes that dying channel. Is <laughs> huh? You made new records. True, guys. It's not really that big of a deal, just because you know there's people with like millions of stuff. But I have since I left, since I kind of stopped posting on YouTube. Let me just show you guys here. Oh, 2,401! Wow. wow! Since I stopped posting on YouTube, I was like stuck at around 2,800, 2,000, whatever. For, uh, no, not, 2,380 for the longest time, you know? And then when you try to like, try, try I started, started doing the YouTube again, it's like it kept um, oscillating with that math word. It was going back and forth, you know, between like 2375, 2390. But, you know, it's kind of hard to, obviously nothing's gonna happen because I was not being consistent. So I could never break, I could never break 2400. So I told myself, you know, the first goal, right? Just getting back into this is, I wanna get 2400. Obviously number's not like the most important thing in the world, but still just, just, just to show that I'm actually like getting on it. And so today, finally, we finally, oh shoot. Today, finally, we have finally broken 2,400. So, you know, it's just like a little personal achievement in, in a sense, you know, just to, cause I'm finally back, boys. We back, boys. Let's see you guys. All right. Well, that was nice. Yeah. Cool people. What are the chances that the, the dad's brother is from Dallas, right? Where I'm from as well. Crazy. Yeah, that That's crazy. crazy. And that he plays tennis too. Okay, that never happened. True, yeah, oh yeah, get her get her to start playing tennis. So we're at this place called Yoshinoya, which is a 24-7. Let's just take a look at some of these. I'm not gonna tell you what any of these are, but just look at the options. Just take a look. Look at that. All these different things. Rice bowls, oh yo, spicy curry, curry, fried chicken. Fish, beef sets, like look at all this difference then. Look at this. 
24-7 and all of it's like five bucks or less, except for the yield. Dude, okay, this is what they have in America. It picks a variety other than water burger. It's <laughs> super cheap, five bucks you get a bowl. It's healthier, all right? And we need convenience stores the way they have convenience stores. Seriously, if you do convenience stores are one of the things that I miss the most on America. Like convenience stores, if I had that, I would just freaking go that. I'd go wild. I'd be cutting and bulking whatever I wanted. <laughs> Probably start doing malls where they go up instead of out to the Y. That's just, that's just the. I mean, honestly, like they could do that right now if they wanted to. Yeah, that would save space. Yeah, that's what they should, should start doing. It's, it's actually kind of cool, to be honest. And it would protect it from flooding because you could just climb to the upper floor. Oh, yeah, exactly. I don't know exactly. why you wouldn't do that. We don't even have, we don't even have earthquakes, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I know. Like, that's what Josh got. Look at this. This is 24 7 food right here. Like, that actually looks pretty good. Not complaining because it's not like it's bad or anything, but let's take a look at this. Oh my god, that looks so good. And. Hey, you want to show them my picture? Kind of similar. To mine? Yeah, yours like is this. pretty spot on. Josh's picture, let's take a look. Okay, and that looks like exactly the same. This one, not so much, but you know, whatever, it looks decent. All right, guys, we're back in the hotel. As I said, I'm checking in. I mean, I'm booking hotels day by day, so every day our room kind of changes. So today I got a nice room again, a little bit more pricey, but it's kind of all they had left. But this is a very spacious room. Just went to the convenience store after eating that thing because it wasn't really that much, and we really haven't eaten much today. Oh, it was a uh, soba. I had that like part of that sushi thing that uh, Masai bought us, and um, I had a an ice cream. That's it. And I had like what we just saw at the 24-hour uh, uh, restaurant. So I went to the convenience store to buy some things, try to get protein and everything, and then a little fun things as well. So let's take a look. Got a roast chicken and pasta salad, or noodle salad it's called. This has uh, about 18 grams of protein right here. We got a udon with a soft-boiled egg and chikua, which is like a fish cake thing, but this one's fried. But this also has about 20.3 grams of protein. Then I got a chicken, which is, you know, this is just chicken. It's uh, 18 grams of protein on this. This one also has very little grams of fat. And then for the fun items, I just wanted to try these things. This is a uh, kind of like crunchy or whatever cheese uh, bread with a tuna inside of it as well. So this should be interesting. This actually surprisingly as well has nine grams of, of protein. I wasn't really going for protein on this. Just wanted to see what it tasted like because it's interesting. And then I got this drink right here. A decaf cafe latte because I, I I've been really into the cafe latte drinks. Okay, honestly, anything that looks like a light brown drink, really into it. Um, but I don't want to drink caffeine right now because it's pretty late night. And then lastly, for fun, right here, it is a uh, it says shio banida, so salty vanilla flavored. I think it's chocolate. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm kind of curious about this as well. So that's what I got right now to eat, um, and then that's gonna finish the day off. So let's eat it up, boys. Yeah.